Kixai released their strategy guide for the Obliterator, and that does give us a very good look at what we should be building, but not quite everything. Hey everyone, Dipper here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. What you're seeing right here on the thumbnail, and actually on my screen now, is my sort of shell build for the Obliterator, what I was able to get out for a XP weekend. I'm still going to go with three regular ships and one flagship for the raid, which by the way is a week earlier than everyone expected. It is on the first Wednesday in uh, September here, so you do have a very limited amount of time to get your ships done before Wednesday, September 8th. In any case, we don't actually have the flagship or the X1 stats yet. Those may change a few things. I'm guessing the flagship, if anything, will need to be an evade tank, and then we'll change a few other things on this build. The core build I have shown right here uses a Polaris engine, which is the standard siege engine. If you don't have the tier 11 one, use the tier or tier 11 and a half. Use whichever other one you have, you have five extra of, that you have the same combat speed version of, ideally something that has very similar buffs to this one. Not too much to say about there, most people got that in Pillage, or in the uh, Raid rather, and it should be in Pillage, one of those two. It will be around somewhere, you probably already have it. We also do have a Cannon System 6, which is the newest Cannon System. It is several tiers ahead of Cannon System 5, but doesn't actually have that many more effects. The splash damage does seem interesting, and the ballistic range is straight up needed. I would definitely use this one over, say, Nuclear Accelerator. I don't really think that that will uh, replace anything, because you really need the ballistic damage from here, and Nuclear Accelerator is also heavy, uh, so you do have to watch out for that one, and it doesn't even have the plus 60% ballistic damage the other ones do here. It has accuracy buffs instead, which are really not helpful at all against buildings. In any case, the third special is the Ballistic Battery 3, and this is a very small, maybe 10% escalation over the previous Ballistic Battery 2 or various other equivalent specials. Not a must-have, although it is likely in the TLC running the week I am posting this video. In terms of the, th of the weapons, I do have the regular weapons on mine. I could not afford 22.5 million points for the limited ones in the past raid. And in any case, the limited ones give you 1,000 damage instead of 900 and are otherwise exactly the same. Just throw on as many limited ones as you can. Remember, they should be in the Forsaken Mission in Shard Drops as well as TLCs and Pillage in the rest regular. No countermeasures, don't even worry about that for this ship. You can't put them on there. In terms of the CIC, there is one clear choice, that is the one that came with the ship. Notice this one is locked to the obliterator, gives you 50% ballistic damage, 50% wall damage, no building damage, a little bit of evade. This is the exact same stats as the one for the purifier. Uh, notice this one is not locked to the purifier, but the stats only apply to the purifiers, it doesn't make sense. So just put on this new one here, it should be about 11 hours build time. It does cost 1 million points in the Forsaken Mission, but the targets are now paying out 300k, or a little bit over that. The last three specials are the things that may change slightly here, although at this point, having seen the VXP Weekend target, as well as the uh, kickside version of the strategy guide, which I'm fairly happy with, things should be pretty standard. The first one is a Ballistic Reload Special. This also does give you critical chance right here. I keep believe it came out with the Gladius or whatever that tier 10 and a half siege hole was. This is a fantastic special. Alternatives include the Drum Reloader or even something down to Auto Loader 3 would be okay for this one, although definitely not nearly as good. And of course, you should always check the weight on these items. The second uh, to last special is going to be a regular unlimited special, that is the Ferox Rounds, another one that looks like claim, came out with the Gladius, if I'm, rem if I'm remembering these holes correctly, and or maybe there was the Damocles. And this one gives you projectile speed, which does mean you can't stack a few things over here, and it gives you ballistic damage, building damage, wall damage, all great stats to have in these targets, which should be entirely buildings other than the few mines we saw in there. Before I jump into the last special, let's just throw on the armors that will be one of each, the Ballistic and the Radioactive. I did not actually complete an entire VXP target. I don't know which damage type is going to be more impactful. I have a few guesses from reading through the strategy guide here that will be that Ballistic Cannon, but I'm not quite sure. In any case, you're going to notice that we do have fairly decent stats across the board here, especially when we get Survival on here as well. Note that the 6,000 Survival is not additional 6,000. It is just making the base Survival stat equal 6,000, or 60k rather. It, it's kind of weird how this stuff works. It is still helpful. It is effectively a plus 40k. Why they didn't write it like that, I have absolutely no idea. 
The U1 will be fairly important for getting a bait on all your ships. I would definitely do that. It's a very short build. The U2 has a great aura. I would get all your ships up to U2. Four U2 ships is what I'm going to be going for at the minimum. And of course, U3X1 will continue to help, although it will not be quite as much as it first appears. In terms of defense, you're going to notice that our evade is actually going to be fairly low here at 49.5% against some ballistic turrets that have pretty high accuracy in these targets. For that reason, evade could be very helpful. This is either going to come in the form of a Hyper 30 or in the form of a crew, which is going to be Sea Serpents, or the final option would actually be the flagship. If it comes out where the flagship has a higher health number, I'm going to make have to be forced essentially to make the flagship an evade tank with really high evade and match the combat speed through something like lowered cannon mount and some combat speed weapons. There are always a few other options for that out there, although at this point in time, what I'm planning to do is go with the welded barrel system, having the increased critical chance and the plus 48% critical damage is very impactful, as well as the combat speed is plus 25%. You can't quite see that off screen there. Uh, that is a very impactful special. It should help out a lot in this target here, making the damage increase by quite a lot because of how well it synergizes with the Damos Belt Feed Magazine, or the Dromos Belt Feed Magazine, rather. So this is the build I'm going for. Changes may include switching the welded barrel system to be a Hyper 30, which has plus 30% combat speed, so it will not quite stack up there. Although at this point, I'd rather kill the targets quickly than be wandering around there and not have enough damage to do things quickly like that. And you should have enough maneuverability here with a fairly decent turn speed compared to your combat speed. Things should not be too bad in these targets at all. And this is always a safe build. I find myself inclined to go for a little bit more of that than thinking way too outside the box these days. If you do have questions on this, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below in YouTube. I'll get back to you as soon as I am able to. With that said, I want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone whose names appear on the end screen now. These people are all supporting the channel and are keeping videos like this possible. With that said, and until next time, this is going to be Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.